Oh, see, what did I say? It's lovely. Yeah, we'll give it a chance. Anna and Toby aren't here yet. <laughs> Are you sure this was such a good idea? Oh, what's not to like? The new forest, no kids, just us and our friends. Exactly, friends. Let's keep it that way. What do you mean? Well, it's one thing sharing a coffee with someone. It's a different thing going to a holiday cottage for the whole weekend with them. You know they'll spend the whole time bickering, don't you? They might not. Change of scene might mellow them. Yeah, that's right. Send them off into the middle of a forest and suddenly it'd be like... What's that romantic comedy called? Deliverance. <laughs> Hi, Anna. <laughs> Got ya. I knew she wasn't there. The temperature hadn't dropped. <laughs> Let's have a look at the bedrooms. Exactly like the website, is it? Oh, there's a good view of the car parking spaces. Well, that might come in handy, actually. Why? In case we decide to attach a hose to the exhaust pipe and asphyxiate ourselves. <laughs> Maybe we should unpack? What? And then jump in the suitcase and sleep in there? There'd be more room. <laughs> come on, let's have a look at the upstairs bedroom. Um, heavy suitcase? Yeah, bring that. <laughs> This is more like it. They obviously only took photos of the better one. Same reason you're hardly in our wedding album. <laughs> oh, and it's got an espresso. It's only a coffee machine. Oh, why does Clooney bother? <laughs> well, this is awkward. What is? Deciding who gets this room. Oh, don't be silly. I'll let you share it with me. <laughs> There's nothing to decide. It's ours. First come, first served. It's an unwritten rule. We can't just claim it. Anna and I booked this together. The unwritten rule is that they have to offer it to us. We we'll have to wait until they arrive. We should at least mark our territory. If you do that, I'm sleeping in the car. <laughs> Just something small, a little sign that establishes that this is our room. Like what? Unpack. <laughs> Unpack? Why don't we both just strip off and get in the bath? <laughs> it's not an actual suggestion. And what then? To leave our bags in here. How's that? OK. Not on the bed! It's too obvious. Next to the bed. No, it's too close. But then... <laughs> there. Perfect. That sends exactly the right message. Yeah. If that message is, I am a passive-aggressive psychopath. <laughs> it's got to be first come, first served. Can we talk about something else? What do you want to do this weekend? I don't, know, I don't mind. What are the options? There's a craft museum where you can try your hand at traditional lace making. Oh, I'm not as young as I used to be. Think of me heart. <laughs> or there's the ruins of an Anglo-Saxon monastery. <laughs> or Jungle Jeremy's Crazy Fun Zoo. Mm. <laughs> Difficult decision. Ruins, fun. Ruins, fun. Oh, talk of the devil. <laughs> so, you finally got here. We'd have been here a lot sooner if Toby didn't drive so slowly. Well, it's hard to build up much speed when your wife's packed so much. Four cases for a single weekend. Oh, a single weekend would be a lovely idea. <laughs> I'm only joking. I actually find it strangely soothing watching you pack your bags. Awful journey. Let's unpack. What are the bedrooms like? Oh, well, we haven't really looked yet, have we, Lee? No, just slung our bags in the first bedroom we came to. What, that one over there? Uh, no, it was the one upstairs, actually. The first bedroom you came to was upstairs? Well, always start at the top of a house and work your way down. <laughs> I learned that from um, Father Christmas. <laughs> well, nothing's been decided. Have a look around. Oh, this is nice. I see you've started settling in. Oh, no. Like I say, we just 
dump the bags in here. You've already had a bit of a lie down, I see. Ah, just five minutes. You know what it's like after a long drive? I always like to slip my shoes and pants off. <laughs> he didn't do that. Well, this is a lovely room. If you like that sort of thing, which we do. <laughs> OK, Anna, shall we uh, check out the other bedroom? Hmm. <laughs> what are they doing? They should have just offered us this room. Why are they checking out the other one? Oh, they've probably gone to see if you've been sleeping in that bed too, Goldilocks. <laughs> not to touch it. Touch it? I'm starting to wish we'd had sex in it. They'll be back in a second. This is your last chance. Well, I'm up for it if you... Your last <laughs> chance to start behaving like an adult. Don't make this awkward. <sighs> so, how was the other room? Uh, cosy. <laughs> right, so... So who's going to go where, then? Well, we really don't mind either way, do we, Lee? Well, we don't mind either way, either. <laughs> I suppose we could always toss a coin to decide who sleeps where. Did think it was going to be that sort of weekend? <laughs> well, I really don't have a preference. Me neither. I'm happy with you all, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, seeing as, you know, nobody minds either way. <laughs> Which we don't. And neither do we. <laughs> And given that our suitcases are already... There is just one thing. What? <sighs> Anna's a very light sleeper. Oh, now, Toby, I told you not to make a fuss about this. You did. I'm, I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> it's just, with this being the quieter room, with it being upstairs, I, I don't know, perhaps it makes more sense if we take this one? If you're absolutely 110% sure you don't mind. Not sure it's possible to be 110% sure about anything. <laughs> and yet we are. That's settled then. Toby, help take their bags downstairs. Look what the cat dragged in. If you must know, I popped upstairs to see Anna. We had a nice chat and... There's a dead bird on the floor! I know. A stray cat dragged it in. I did just say. <laughs> Why haven't you thrown it away? It's your turn to clear it up. But this is the first time it's ever happened. I know. And next time it'll be my turn. <laughs> Lee. Why are you at the neighbours again anyway? They're so... poncy. What do you mean, Ponzi? You know, the type that have vegetables with every meal. <laughs> what do you want to get to know this woman for? Because she's interesting. She and Toby go to gallery openings, first nights, parties with the rich and successful. It's a totally different world up there. Good God, you sound like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> Is that what you want, then, a life like hers? Yes. Is that so wrong? Going to events, meeting interesting new people? Better than spending my weekend sitting watching TV with a bag of crisps. Oh, I see. And well, when you say bag of crisps, you mean me. If I'd have meant you, I'd have said pork scratchings. <laughs> anyway, I've just invited her to pop down for some tea. In fact, she'll be here quite soon. Sorry, are you trying to get rid of me? Oh, of course not. But, um, if you were going out, there's a great film on at the cinema. <laughs> it's in 3D. Right up your street. I know where the cinema is. <laughs> you know what? We're not that different, me and her. Lee, look at yourself. You're holding a dead bird. <laughs> yeah, in a waitrose bag. <laughs> I'm usually the net worker, but Toby's job at the hospital is just as valuable. He recently did a gallbladder operation on a top events promoter, and ever since then we've been invited to all sorts of wonderful things. Wow. We got to see the Stones last week. Oh. <laughs> the Rolling Stones. <laughs> VIP tickets right at the very front. Oh, sounds great. Toby managed to pull a few strings. Wow. 
You must have been sitting close. <laughs> I was actually going to go to that concert as well, but I was so busy closing a huge deal. Who with? Um, I can't say yet. Don't want to jinx it. In my business, things can go wrong at any moment. <laughs> I thought you were at the cinema. Whoa, watch it, sister. Never point at anyone wearing these things. You could have had my eye out. <laughs> Anna, you know Lee? Hello. All right. Lucy's just been telling me about the deal she's about to close. The what? You remember? Last weekend, I was up all night trying to secure that big deal. Oh, yes, the big deal. Remind me again, Lucy, how much was it for? 800,000. Wow, that is a whopper. <laughs> so you must be pretty tired. Are you going straight to bed? Oh, no, I've got time for a quick brew. You won't like it, it's the special one. It's all right, I love special brew. <laughs> Just a joke. Not a very good one. Well, it's better than the one I was going to do when you said the special one. <laughs> I was going to say, is Jose Mourinho pissed in your teapot? <laughs> Where's the normal cups? Anna doesn't want to see your big, ugly muggly. <laughs> Anna recently had a baby. I'm sure she's used to taking a bigger cup size these days. <laughs> and she doesn't want to hear your silly comments. Lovely jugs, Lucy. Oh, so it's all right when she does it. <laughs> so, what are we having to eat? Sorry? Well, I thought you said Anna was coming around for tea. We are having tea. If we were eating, I think that would be a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> well, where I'm from, we call that tea. No, Lee, dinner parties are what adults have. Tea parties are what chimps have. <laughs> I said you wouldn't like it. What happened to the normal PG tips, Lucy? Lee's a big fan of PG tips. His family used to advertise them in the 70s. <laughs> really? No. It was another joke about me being a chimp. Oh, I see. I'm not a chimp. <laughs> oh, I'll have to get this. It's a business thing. Excuse me a minute. Hello. What the hell are you doing? What? You know what? Trying to derail a blossoming friendship with your barb juvenile remarks. I just don't think people should be false to try and impress other people. OK, maybe I am trying to impress her a bit, but she's a good person to know. She's very well connected. Uh, excuse me, I know movers and shakers. Like who? My uncle Colin and my auntie Val. <laughs> he works for Pickfords. She's a recovering alcoholic. <laughs> Anna moves in different circles. And so does my Auntie Val after a skin fall. Sorry. Another social charity thing I'm trying to squeeze in. My calendar is absolutely chock full. What is it, an advent calendar? <laughs> um, if ever you're looking for someone to take a spare invite off your hands. OK. Well, I'll, I'll bear it in mind. Actually, uh, I quite uh, like a party too. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, these events are quite exclusive. So? Well, they wouldn't be exclusive if they didn't, you know, exclude people. I thought they were charity dues. They're not that charitable. <laughs> It was a hot day and there were two dogs locked inside and the window wasn't even open a crack. I mean, what was I supposed to do? I smashed the window with a brick. I think you're supposed to do that with cars, not houses. <laughs> yeah, that's what the owner said. But she was just upset because the brick hit one of the dogs. <laughs> you know, I'd found the RSPCA, but I'm worried they'd put you down. <laughs> Are you still annoyed about Lucy's new, rich, well-to-do, high-powered, upwardly mobile, important, classy, stylish friend? <laughs> yeah, but thankfully you're here to help me forget. <laughs> you know, my nan used to say, if you've been intimidated by someone, just go and look at them when they're on the toilet. You mean imagine them on the toilet? <laughs> oh, that's why the headmaster suspended me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not intimidated by Anna. So what's the problem? Oh, I get it. 
You're worried that Lucy's gonna find a new circle of friends, leave you behind. So why don't you just make sure that you're part of it too? How? Anna has made it very clear that I am not getting invited anywhere. So you invite her and her husband here? Those sorts of people love dinner parties. I can't cook. Oh, sorry, can you read? <laughs> oh, hello. I wasn't expecting it to be you. You haven't got one of those spy holes, then? <laughs> no, we should definitely get one of those. <laughs> is, uh, is Anna in? She's at work. Right. Well, I don't know if she mentioned, but uh, she came round to our flat yesterday. She did mention that, yeah. Yeah, I was there, so was Lucy. She mentioned that too. We all had a nice cup of tea. She mentioned that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Anna had a really nice time, actually. <laughs> anyway, um, it got me thinking, why don't we invite you two guys round for dinner? <laughs> That's very kind. Great. Well, I will see you tonight at 7 o'clock. <laughs> it is it's very short notice to arrange a sitter. Well, why don't you bring the baby round? Eh? The more the merrier. Right. So, uh, how can you refuse? I'm not sure. Give me a minute. <laughs> Look, the thing is that Anna has very strict requirements when it comes to dinner. She doesn't eat wheat or yeast or saturated fat or nuts. Well, that's my deep-fried Snickers on a Weetabix with a Marmite sauce out the window. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I'd hate to make someone do something that they really, really didn't want to do in a million years. I'm positive. See you at seven. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on? I've just invited Anna and Toby round for a quick bite to eat. What? Go and cancel right now. One does not cancel at such short notice. It's very uncool. And um, one does not take etiquette tips from a man who sits on the toilet whilst eating a pot noodle. <laughs> why am I not allowed just to make a new friend? And why aren't I? Because you don't like her. And you don't cook. I watch MasterChef. You watch porn. It doesn't make you Casanova. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Lee. I know you've gone to a lot of effort, but they're not coming and that's the end of it. I hate you. <laughs> Because I just wish you bloody asked me first. Yes, but... <laughs> oh, hello. Anna was just saying what a lovely surprise it was to get your invitation. Yes, a real surprise. Well, I'm just glad you were free. I thought Toby was going to say you were busy. Yes. Yes, you could have said that, couldn't you? <laughs> How about this one? Yeah, that looks great. I like it. OK. How about this one? Yeah, that's nice as well. <laughs> Why do you need a dress anyway? You've already got a dress. I thought I'd go crazy and own two dresses. I was getting jealous, what, with you owning two pairs of underpants? <laughs> I just want one thing that makes me feel like a woman. Besides three kids and stretch marks. <laughs> oh. Can I help you? Just trying to work out whether I can get away without wearing a bra. Oh. Well, you won't get much support. I'm used to that. Hey, Pluto, you look great! <laughs> Remember those days, dear. <laughs> yeah, all bouncy and full of life. <laughs> well, gravity makes fools of us all. I meant the girls, not... Well, it's what happens when you have children. How do you know I've got children? Oh, you've got children. Those are real? No, definitely not. They're way too spherical. Real ones are more misshapen. You are talking about the pearls? <laughs> no, her breasts. Oh, right. No, definitely not. They're way too spherical. Real ones are more misshapen. <laughs> Would you ever consider it? A boob job? I don't think so. It's a bit tacky, isn't it? Not necessarily. Showing them off in a magazine that comes with a free sachet of Horlicks might be. No. Boob jobs are for vain, insecure types with more money than sense. Actually, Lucy, I've had it done. <laughs> yeah, 
there, but that's different, you know, because... No, I've got nothing. <laughs> I just mean there are other procedures I'd have done first, like removing my foot from my mouth and putting it on my ankle. <laughs> so, um, when did you have it done? Just after Jack was born. You let a little lodger live inside you for nine months and they just trash the place. <laughs> if your body was a studio flat, they'd never get the deposit back. <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever done. It made me feel much better about myself. Have you tried the pencil test? The what? You know, you place a pencil under each breast. If they don't fall to the floor, you know things aren't quite as pert as they used to be. <laughs> Mind you, in this digital age, who uses a pencil anymore? Well, I reckon I could get a couple of iPads under there now. <laughs> so I was saying all this stuff about boob jobs, and it turns out Anna's had one done. Had one done? Wouldn't that make her lopsided? <laughs> By the way, why have two pencils suddenly appeared next to the bathroom mirror? No idea. Well, it doesn't surprise me Anna's had a boob job. She's the type that would do that. Oh? What type is that? Oh, you know, vain and shallow. She'd probably have her legs cut off if she thought Gucci made designer ones. Look at this. Oh, it's all right for you to read these magazines, but not me. Look at this woman's breasts. I won't, and you can't make me. Is that posh actress you like from Casualty? She's had a boob job. Has she? Well, it's put me off knowing she's fake. I bet she's not even a real nurse. <laughs> celebrities, eh? Well, it's not just celebrities that get it done, you know. Well, you wouldn't consider it, would you? Oh, I see. Anna's had a boob job and now you want one. It's the Nespresso frother all over again. <laughs> Look, I'm only vaguely thinking about it. I'd probably never do it. There's no harm in us just having a little chat about it, is there? OK, let's chat. All right. What do you want to know? How much does it cost? <laughs> That's your first question. All right, well, what is a good question? Can you get one big one and one small one? It costs less than that ride on lawnmower you seem to think we need so much. Yeah, but you can't sit on a new pair of boobs and scream vroom vroom. <laughs> you can if you ask nicely. All right, the most important question. Why? Oh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm getting older and things aren't where they used to be. You know, when I was in my 20s, I once went out in a bikini top and a man crashed into a viaduct. <laughs> now the only way my boobs would cause a car crash is if I got one caught under the brake pedal. I can't believe that you would talk to Anna about this before me. Oh, we were only chatting about it. We're women. We sometimes like to talk about things like boob jobs, OK? Blimey. Did Jermaine Greer jump in front of that horse for nothing? <laughs> Why are you so dead against the idea? How would you feel if I suddenly announced I wanted a penis enlargement? I'd say you didn't need it. You paused. <laughs> Look, can we talk about this later? I need to go to the supermarket. I'll come with you. Don't worry. Asda hasn't started doing boob jobs. I wish they would. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Why on earth would you want to get a boob job? Oh, for God's sake, I didn't say I wanted one. I just said I wanted to talk about it. You know, like a normal couple. We are a normal couple. And so are those. So leave them alone. This has really got to you, hasn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, Lucy, but I just feel like someone's trying to take my favourite local pub and turn it into a shiny new weather spoons. My breasts are not like a pub. I don't know. They're both places I frequent a lot less since we had kids. <laughs> Am I missing something here? What part of our marriage vows said they're as much yours as mine? To have and to hold. <laughs> Bloody Anna. This isn't because of Anna. Do you really think I'm that shallow? No, but she is. She's not that bad. Yes, she is. So self-obsessed, so up herself. I'm telling you, those fake boobs are the only thing stopping Anna disappearing up her own backside. <laughs> Hello. I don't suppose you heard that, did you? No, I didn't hear anything. Right. How could I have with my head shoved so far up my backside? <laughs> Bing bong. Social awkwardness in aisle nine. Can we have a metaphorical mop and bucket, please? <laughs> oh, look, they've got Marmite. I love Marmite. No, you don't, Toby. You hate it. 
just like you hate confrontation. Well, I'm surprised to see you two in here. Obviously. Well, you know, we like to try out new places to argue in public. <laughs> Waitrose is closed for a refurb, so we're seeing how the other half lives. It's charming. Like being on safari. <laughs> Why don't we go and grab a coffee, Lee? I'm feeling dangerously undercaffeinated and unanxious. Yes, very good idea. You two go to the man crash, and I'll see if I can find Pak Choi in this hellhole. I'll too. But here they call it. I can't believe it's not cabbage. Ha <laughs>